Good day, everyone. Good morning. Um, this is the uh, first segment of the BTS vlog for uh, Monday, March 10th. And we just finished the uh, last vlog a few minutes ago. And I decided as I got to the, my research desk that I want to try something different. And this is trying to, this will produce more content for the BTS vlogs. Uh, and I want to go through the day and give you more, uh, uh, sort of an overview of the day. So here we are at the research desk. Uh, my, um, uh, my IPTV is on. Uh, I'm watching a cartoon the way I usually do. Uh, I'm having breakfast. Uh, still in the middle of breakfast. So I'll, we'll start off the first segment will be the uh, uh, time and date stamp. It's uh, eight hours and four minutes into the day of Monday, March 10th, 2014. There we are. We've got that done. Uh, I've revamped some of my notes here. i got some, some stuff to do in the editing bay. Uh, I'm also trying. I'm also trying out a uh, a new lighting situation here to see how it works out, so that I can take you over to the electronics bench and show you what's going on there as well. And what you'll see is that the, the, the rather than doing a one long segment, I'm going to break the segment up into chunks. So right now it's breakfast time, <laughs> and I'll come back. Uh, to you guys after breakfast but we're going to be after breakfast we're going to be at the electronics bench and we'll be doing some work on the electronics bench all right take it easy another uh, section here it is eight hours and 27 minutes into the day and we're actually at the editing desk uh what's going on now is i'm just doing some editing work on the uh bts logs for uh March 4th to March 7th and as soon as I'm done here uh, we're going over to the electronics bench to uh, <laughs> uh, do what? Uh, to work on uh, the uh, system that has to uh, uh, get ready for today so I just gotta sort of uh, do this here for a bit uh, let me see what am I doing here Ugh. This is what happens sometimes. They make mistakes. Uh, I didn't. I didn't look to see what I had already done. Okay. I did the first segment. Now I have to do uh, the second segment. Yeah, first segment is done. Now the second segment is coming up. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's it for here, and uh, I'll see you back at the electronics bench. Testing out a uh, new filming position. Uh, uh, <laughs> place uh, this is the back warehouse and this is the mountain of stuff that I have to go through within the next two weeks uh, the goal is to see how fast I can do this I've got to really rearrange everything here so it, the, the, there is a fair bit of work to do uh, so let's give you the time and date stamp it is uh, now nine hours and 35 minutes into the day of Monday, March 10th, 2014, and trying to film the, a day in my life type of thing. <laughs> so, uh, I decided not to do the work on the electronics bench. I said, I said that we're going to be at the electronics bench next, but that's not going to happen. Uh, the reason being is that the work for uh, the DNS, the DNS work has to be done on the main research system first. The text files, all the configuration, the config files have to be set up there first. And then once the config files are done, then install the DNS software, uh, move the config file over, config file over, make, and make sure that everything configures properly on there. And then once that's done, move this whole system to the front, to the front here. Well, actually, it's not the front. This is the back. <laughs> uh, so. 
that kind of is what's, what's going on now. Um, but we'll see how long this takes. Uh, I'm trying, as I said, I'm trying this new filming method here. I don't know how well it's, how much it's going to work or how well it's going to work. Uh, <laughs> this is what freaking is all about. Freaking is you got to collect all that stuff, and then once you get the stuff collected, usually during the winter, uh, springtime you come around and you clean everything up and uh, process everything, and that gives you the material the materials for the next year. So, anyways, uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, I will get back to you. A little later on, uh, once this gets going, and uh, tell you no more about my day. This is the this is the new attempt to, to uh, vlog the day, <laughs> and so I just finished the uh, I just finished uh, the editing work. Uh, the, actually, the edit the editing work for uh, the BTS vlogs from the fourth uh, to the seventh is done. Is now uh, uploading to YouTube. I did the first of several uh, first of several sub projects uh, in the back uh, in the warehouse machine shop. That's uh, underway. I should after lunch because I'm we're just finishing the uh, the morning, going into lunch. Uh, and so after lunch, I plan to uh, do another sub project within the uh, machine shop warehouse. I also do plan to do some more work on the electronics bench. And I'm also going to try to uh, do some work on uh, Beauty and the Geek. We'll see how that ends up working out. But, uh, you know, it's not that bad so far uh, uh, trying to vlog the day. I've kind of figured out how I'm going to work out the timing and everything. Because I have to sort of time these uh, sections and how many sec sub how many subsections are going to go into uh, a segment, you know. Like the, I have so far, I have four sections that it's going into a segment, and they're about between one to three minutes. I think that's that's a good ratio there. Uh, I'm gonna have to sit back and view this and see what I think of it, uh, because I, you have to say things, but sometimes there's too much time to say things, and, and you lose track of what you're trying to say. So uh, I think maybe if we vary this up a little bit, that might this might be a better option. Uh, anyways, uh, what's going to be happening next is I'll be going into the kitchen diner. I'll be making uh, some lunch. And then uh, after lunch, I'll set the next sort of uh, set of tasks that I have to do and uh, go from there. Anyways, uh, that's it uh, for the first segment. We're counting down to our last few minutes here, the last, last few seconds. So this is it for the first segment uh, for today. And uh, we'll see how much we can get done during the day here in terms of the content. All right, take it easy. See you in a few months, in in about an hour or two after lunch. Well, good morning, everybody. Yeah, we're starting a little bit later today. Um, the usual thing happened last night, and as I said before, sometimes projects pop up at the last minute, some things pop up and they become immediate and you have to work on them, and that occurred uh, last night, and I ended up going to bed uh, around 6 o'clock this morning, so, uh, today's going to be a bit of a burn, but otherwise, <laughs> and when I mean burn, I mean that the, uh, when you get into this sort of mode where you're exhausted, you you haven't gotten the full amount of sleep or your sleep has been broken, then you're in this kind of, uh, slow mood. <laughs> your, your, your reflexes and your thoughts are actually slower than they were before, so, uh, and it feels like things have slowed down in terms of, how, in terms of perception and how things move, it, it appears things have slowed down. Anyways, let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 10 hours and 28 minutes into the day of Tuesday, March 11th, 2014. And so this is going to be the BTS vlog for uh, the 10th and 11th. Yesterday yeah, I, I started trying, I, I started off trying to film the entire day but that didn't work out I got to lunch and after lunch things just got really busy and I started I, I was gonna vlog gonna vlog gonna vlog but never ended up vlogging so uh, 
here we are on the, the morning of the 11th, the uh, the beginning of the 11th anyways, and we're back here vlogging. <laughs> so, yeah, go figure. Uh, I will take you around to show you uh, after breakfast uh, what has already been accomplished and what has to be done for today, what's on the schedule for today. Uh, and that's about it for now. Uh, I'll... Uh, get back to you uh, in a little bit. All right, take it easy. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, tangents. Tangents are uh, geogra uh, uh, geometrical objects. It's in trigonometry as as cos it's sine, cosine, and tangent. Uh, but here we're using the verbal sense, which is, which means a deviation from the intended path or intended direction. Anyways, uh, it's time <laughs> to to get started again. It's another start of the day. Uh, I don't know where we are again, once again in the vlog, and that's because the tangent was, was thrown in the last couple of days that kind of messed things up. So let me give you the time and date stamp. It is 7 hours and 22 minutes into the day of Wednesday, March 12th, 2014. That's right. Uh, this is another statement of the BTS vlog. It's not what was intended initially, but uh, it's occurring. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's what tangent is. A tangent often occurs when something occurs in your day that you didn't expect that alters the path that you were initially on or you're, that you were you were intended to be on. And these are things that have to be dealt with because they do come in on a regular basis sometimes and unless you deal with them, they could really throw off your day. And normally, what would happen, and this is sort of an improvement here, if you will. Uh, normally, a tangent would mean, uh, well, no vlog. Because, well, a tangent occurred, it knocked everything off, knocked our schedule off. There's nothing, so, you know, uh, what you had initially planned to talk about is no, is no longer valid or no longer there anymore because you're off on a new tangent. Uh, you know, you're, you've deviated from the initial path. So, and what you're not necessarily prepared to say anything. But, uh, or, there's so much work to get done that it's not necessarily possible. But, moving, getting the filming into the day, into the normal routine like this, uh, in, ter this in terms of the vlog, helps in other situations that uh, it allows me to, and this is what I have to do, is move a lot of the show development, like for, for uh, Insta vlogs for uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix style for uh, Beauty and the Geek. These shows have to be developed and filmed as a part of my day. It has to be. It can't be something that's separate. It has to be part of the daily routine that I'm doing. So uh, that's a matter of, of working that those productions that that those productions into my schedule. And then once that's done, uh, then we can start. You know. Uh, working more significantly on other shows, you know, like, like the Kitchen Diner, like Toys, like Gaming R.L., like the Music Studio. I mean, these are all coming in. They, it, you know, it, it, they, 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 we're doing, what I'm talking about here is I'm talking about their shows in Season Zero, and if you notice on the, in, the, in the notes in the description down below, uh, you'll see the description of uh, what's in here on, on each episode, and the new thing is we're talking about the new shows, the new shows are, that are in development are uh, the Kitchen Diner, uh, Toys, Gaming RL, and the Music Studio. Those are the four that are in, in concept development. They're in active testing in terms of the videos and so on and so forth. And that's why they're in BTS Vlog because we're here uh, talking about it. Uh, the Kitchen Diner, for example, now... Uh, uh, that I'm getting caught up with my Instagram, and you see the Instagram going out. Uh, w the kitchen diet will actually start appearing there in pictures first, and uh, it'll come out there before you actually start seeing the showing back here. So uh, that's how that's going to work out. 
Uh, and that's how these things sort of progress ahead. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Uh, toys, the, the workbench is, is, in, um, is going to be done on the electronics bench. The electronics bench is coming along. Products on there are coming along. Uh, I might have, I have two more products that will be coming on to the uh, uh, electronics bench soon. I do have to make another adjustment to the electronics bench. There's not enough space on there. So uh, I'm going to have to add shelving up above. And uh, that's why I'm working on the new project, which is the... Uh, warehouse machine shop uh, because I need to get that functional so I could build the shelves. I have enough material that I went back and, uh, uh, and I'll show you this later on. I went back and did enough work back there that uh, I could actually see that I have enough material to build shelves. So uh, it's a matter of sort of getting everything together, uh, playing it out and build the shelves. I also have enough material to go in and work on the closet. So that's a good thing too. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here for now. And uh, I'll come back in maybe about a half hour, 45 minutes, and uh, talk to you some more. Well, now I'm doing the, uh, the fourth segment of the BTS vlog. I'll give you the time and date stamp. It is 14 hours and... No. It's sort of that, that. It's 16 hours and 34 minutes into the day of Wednesday, March 12th. <laughs> it's been an unusual <laughs> uh, vlog. Part halfway through the vlog, I got lost. I couldn't remember where I was in terms of the filming. That's because, as, as I said before, I talked about tangents earlier. And this is going to be, an, uh, you know. It's been the, the uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but it's been uh, uh, three days of different tangents that came in, sort of skewed things a little bit, and sort of turned the schedule upside down. So, uh, you know, for the last uh, sec the last segment, I didn't know what segment it was. I couldn't remember what segment it was, so I sat down and figured it out. But that was sort of in between. I went. I had to go shopping again today. I went shopping Tuesday. And shopping again today. I was going to take you shopping with me uh, today. But uh, there's a blizzard outside. And, well, I'm alright for the blizzard. I'm okay walking in the blizzard because I've got the, the equipment to do it. My clothes to do it. Uh, the camera doesn't. So, uh, I, don't, I didn't think the camera would survive the blizzard. So, I didn't bring you out. Oh. With me food shopping. But, uh... So the the electronic bench, the uh, product on electronic bench, working on um, uh, Rootkit Hunter and uh, CHK Rootkit has sort of it's still there, it's still working on it. I've now begun to do the configure the, the configuration files for the DNS. I'm also looking at I had a relook at the bit at the uh, electronics bench once again because. I'm running out of space on there already because there's a number of product project apparently up. So I'm looking at adding shelving. I've looked in the back warehouse to see what type of freaking materials I have, how much I have, and I do have enough to build shelves. So now it's a matter of sort of designing everything out and figuring out how I'm going to put everything together. That leads us to the uh, product in the warehouse machine shop, cleaning it up, getting it in into a working order. Uh, I repaired, in addition to cleaning some of the wood up and actually organizing the wood that I can use, and that's why I sort of figured out what I was going to, you know, going to use uh, for the shelving project, is that there's a lot of free wood around here. There's tons of it. And uh, I have enough free wood that I can build the shelving over here. So I can create levels of, you know, functionality uh, on the bench just by adding shelves to it. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh... I've also repaired one of the one of the lights back in the warehouse there. Uh, it's by the door. That light had been it had been broken for about six months. I hadn't had a chance to get up there and fix it. I finally fixed it. I still have to oh, once the warehouse is clean, get up in the ceiling. There's the twenty foot ceilings there. Yeah, but I do have a ladder to get up there. Uh, to get up in the ceiling and change the light fixtures up there. So that still has to be done. Uh, I know that, but the thing is, is that I think uh, I think by 
Monday, Tuesday, the uh, warehouse will be in, the, in, in a functioning order. Uh, I should film back there again, but uh, I don't know exactly if that's going to happen right now or uh, a little bit later on because uh, uh, i got to have something to eat right now. I haven't had anything to eat since uh, about noon. So it is time to have something to eat. And no, I had, it was it, it, was it noon? Yeah, you know, it was just about noon. When I got back from, from food shopping, I had something to eat. But I didn't have any breakfast, so. Uh, but uh, in terms of the chore list, I'm getting that chore list done. I'm going to be adding, uh, doing some work in the music studio today. I still have that to do. I'm going to test out some of the new equipment that I have uh, and some of the new software, the way I fix things up, uh, to see how it works out. Uh, I want to hear the different sounds I can get out of it. And then I have uh, books on here and different programs that will sort of teach me uh, uh, piano and music at the same time. So uh, I'll see how I'm going to end up uh, scheduling that in with everything. And then it looks like uh, I have enough time to uh, get down to work on uh, both Beauty and the Geek and um, the Insta Vlogs again. So try to clear up that sort of backlog on the editing bay and get everything sort of in a, a functional order. So yeah, that's kind of uh, where everything is right now. I think I'm going to leave it here right now. I don't know how. I have to sort of wait and see if I'm going to do more of a follow me vlog, you know, shorter vlogs than the, the uh, eight minutes. Uh, because I have to see how it ended up working out. It was a little bit, a little bit of a challenge, knowing exactly where you were and what segment you're in. But I think I've got a system worked out where I can get it done pretty easily. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave it here short like this. <laughs> and uh, oh, that's the other thing. I just popped. See, this is it. Things pop in my mind. I, I, I've got them written down, but I don't uh, always. Uh, remember to do them. The one other thing I'm talking about is uh, I went uh, on, I'm always around uh, going around YouTube, uh, doing my YouTube show, and every once in a while I run across these issues here. And it's sort of blend in with me to, uh, to, uh, to, to blend blend in to stand out, share your story and make a difference with, with Cassandra uh, Bankson and uh, Derma Blend Pro. Um, she, I guess she's a model on the internet. Uh, she shows us her acne and talks about how she was treated as a kid with her acne and you know you know I, I think everyone I think most kids have been there most young people have been there uh, and at one point in time we were all kids so we all kind of know that uh, but what happens most people most people grow out of their geek phase so that, that's what the zit phase and become have a half decent life and oh and I'm the same way. It's, it's you know, you can either let things defeat you or you can sort of put them out of your mind and move on. And it's not, it's not that it's easy to do that. It's not easy to do that. It does take some time to do that. <laughs> but you can do it. And it's a little, what, what, how do I stand out about, what, you know, but the thing is, I'm not, in, I'm not a model. I'm not a, uh, into fashion. I'm not into trends. I'm an individual. And I've never been able to conform to particular groups, to any group, as a matter of fact. And that's always been my issue. My issue is I can't conform. So I don't blend in to stand out. I'm an individual, I'm an individual person, and that's the way it is. And people are going to like you, and people aren't going to like you. There's, you can't force people to like you. You can't force people to include you in things. You can't force people to uh, be your friend. Uh, so that's something you're going to have to deal with. Anyways, uh, that's it. That's my two cents on that. Uh, I'll see you in the next BTS vlog, which should start in a couple hours. All right. Bye-bye. Professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics.
Democratic Earth. Earth.